right here is a 1 18th scale 1996 Dodge Viper GTSR Coupe by Maisto. It does have suspension, as most Maistos do. The doors open, and so does the hood and rear hatch. Inside the engine compartment is a nicely detailed Viper V10 engine. The color scheme of the engine compartment looks very nice, and overall the engine looks like that of a higher quality model. The Viper logo is clearly displayed on the engine block. It's overall pretty good. Side detailings are not the best. You can, see, you can see there is not much detailing on the seats in terms of looking like a leather interior. This front dashboard right here does have some decals and other gauges and such. But other than that, it's pretty stark. The model does feature fairly realistic racing seats with built-in seat belts. This rear window opens up to unveil a spare wheel. You can find the Michigan license plate here. These taillights almost look real. They actually have a slight texture to the exterior, making it look even more like a bulb. You can find the reverse lights here, as well as the turn signal lights. Also, the Dodge logo is back here, and so is the Viper logo. You can also see these little exhaust pipes here. They don't look too realistic. The chrome is a little worn down, but it looks alright. This rear bumper portion here, and this entire back fascia, is made completely of plastic. It's a little bit of a downside. would have liked to see... Um, this is completely made out of metal. It would just carry out a little bit better with the paint texture. As you can see, the paint texture is slightly lighter on the plastic. A little bit disappointed with that. Um, it looks alright. It's acceptable. You can find the Dodge Viper insignia right here, the uh, Viper logo, which is also visible on the front. The Viper logo is also found on the side here. As you can see, Viper GTS Coupe. You can also find the Viper logo on these wheels. These wheels look pretty realistic. The chrome is nice looking. Front, a little bit disappointing. The headlights don't fit completely flush with the rest of this hood right here. The headlights look fairly realistic, but a little bit fake at the same time. This front bumper right here is entirely made of plastic. A little bit disappointed there also. As you can see, the paint texture is slightly different, and it's a little bit visible with the gaps here. The gaps are pretty big here along the shut lines. Front bulbs actually look pretty real right here. A little bit of a nice little feature there. You can see this gap line is pretty big here. Also with the bumper, very, very large. Not so much in the front, but it is there also. A little bit of a disappointment, especially with the side gapping here. Here are unfortunately completely made of plastic. Threes right here are actually transparent. Nice little feature there. It looks pretty realistic. Also, there's another vent on the front. The mirrors are one piece of metal, single with the door, so you don't have to worry about them breaking off. Another nice little feature. It's pretty realistic, especially with the exhaust system. It looks pretty authentic. You can see the bottom of the engine block there. Very nice. Tires do have tread on them, and you can find the name of the car, as well as the scale and the logo. These white paint stripes here are actually starting to crack just slightly. Would I recommend this model? Sure, especially for a younger child. It's a pretty durable model. For a collector, it's really the only budget model um, in terms of the Dodge Viper of this late 90s era that is currently available. This GTSR Coupe model is no longer produced, unfortunately. It is, however, available in the form of the GT2. I was able to find this model for free at a garage sale. Very good deal otherwise. Typically new, it's around $20 to $30. Newer Maestos are much better, better quality. This model is a little bit on the cheaper looking side. I'd compare it to a Motor Max today. These front stickers here tend to peel off a little bit over time. A little bit of a downside. I know newer Maestos feature decals that are actually built in with the paint. That is very nice. But if you're looking for an older model like this, just be wary of the sticker issue. If any questions or comments, be sure to post them in the comments section. Be sure to get to back to you as quickly as possible. Subscribe, like, and favorite. Thank you for watching.